Timberwarn and Cliffside, and I know it's been a very long time. Um, I had some things happen in my life that meant I've taken a fairly significant break from YouTube, and now hopefully we're back. I did do the one video where I went back to the mountain range save, and we managed to finish that off. Pretty much, it was a bit of a rush finish, but yeah, managed to get that finished. So if you didn't see that, go back. Have a look at that if you want. I have played on a little bit on here to make some progress. And I'm going to try and remember what I did just to talk you guys through it. So, and there are actually some changes I want to make, which is why I think I stopped at this point. And changes based on comments that you guys made. So, last time, and it was a fairly long time ago, I know. I was putting in our little gravity battery store here and someone pointed out that we can power we can put power into the gravity batteries from below and that will make things a little bit more efficient so I'm going to delete this and we're going to I'm going to leave this stack here because we probably think we need actually we could probably build diagonally but I'm going to leave it just in case then we'll delete it and recover the resources so Let's put that there. We'll then put our stack of vertical power shafts. If I sound a little bit tired and a little bit strange, I'm away in a hotel at the moment and not had the best night's sleep. So, yep. Uh, so that was that change. So hopefully they can get that done. I've a uh, suggestion from one of you. And it was kind of a plan, but I'd sort of forgotten. We have got the start of a two high well, dam plus floodgates going in here. And that's going to let us put another water pump here as well. Yes, that's going to trigger all of us that it's the wrong way round. Could actually very quickly switch those, but I'd have to switch all five. And really, the plan is to replace them with the large water pump. So this, it's not going to be there long. So sorry. But it, it does annoy me as well. But it is what it is. We need to get ourselves a wood workshop going soonish. So we do have the access to pine resin. So that's okay. Um, and I think that's most of what I did. If I've missed some stuff, then I am sorry. But yeah, I think that was most of it. I think that was most of it. Um, there's been a, there has been, there still is a lot of juggling of resources. So yeah, um, things that I think we need to be trying to achieve. And it's been absolutely ages since I've consistently made videos. So if the sounds are a little bit off, I apologize. I'm in a same hotel room, and also I'm kind of, I'm new at this. So yep. Give me a little bit of a little bit of a break for the next few days, few videos while I get back into the swing of things. Um we're going to be need to be getting bad water. And that means we really need to be getting up here. So I think probably our next goals beyond let's go to double speed. We can actually achieve something. This might be a shorter video. Um but hopefully that means I actually get a video out. So we will see. Um, I think my next two goals on here are literally reminding myself what the heck is going on with everything. I'm not sure why I don't have that set to be replanted as anything either. It's been, it's been a very long time. So um, I think we need to get treated planks going. I think we need to get bad water going. Because I think we're going to need explosives. Um, and now I also wanted to get the observatory going, didn't I? Because that will free up a bunch of resources. Science. Science. Observatory. And maybe we work towards that while they're building this stuff. So I am going to prioritize this. So... It's, it's coming back to me. It's coming. So we need to we need to unlock the gravity battery. Next. We actually put that one there. Yes. We 
almost have all of the metal blocks. We don't have the gears or the planks. So. Pause that because I want you to be putting planks into this. So I'm pretty sure we could delete this and recover the resources from it. But I want to make sure we can actually get these built. So which they are, which is cool. I have got um, the, the, oh, that's the driver. Excellent. So let's, let's slope back down. So we ended with 450 water. Our food is okay-ish. Let's do that. I think probably in that case, we should high prioritize that guy. Um, because I am conscious that as we get through the cycles, we're four beavers short now. And that should be pulling from those. I do love that sound. I do love that sound so very much. Um, and then probably from the haulers as well, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, that paused. I have. Let's unpause that. I prioritize it, please. Yeah, we definitely want them to be building that. I think I was replacing those sunflowers with carrots. That's got quite low, but I'm not sure if that's a problem yet. That we were going to replant with oaks, I believe. If I accidentally planted some of the wrong trees in there. So let's chuck a few of those in. Get you working. Got a few oaks we could cut down there, but we're not super short of that. So that's okay. Just about enough wood, I guess. Right there. Pretty much all dead. They're basically acting as a buffer for storing food. That's okay. We're five beavers short at the moment. Wondering if once once we get water flowing. It should maybe, it could maybe pause this. The planks is kind of a limiting factor. Let's go back to double speed. Oh yeah, we've got all of our, got all of our water pumps going now, which is great. Um, so I think, yeah, we could do with you building that next. That's good. So we've now got water storage capacity for 1300 that's cool um, that's the logs that's okay so yeah i'm not really sure how long the droughts and the bad tides are going to be on cycle eight so i guess we'll see i have been playing timberborn while i've not been doing this i uh have been playing hard mode on diorama and uh we had a few struggles. We had a few struggles. And so I'm a little bit nervous coming back to this and playing on hard mode. So we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. Um, so yeah, that's going in. That's in now. So we can now unpause you. I do need to leave that whilst we build. Um, how on graph tree you actually let's leave that on paused and build that one first because that's the connection and now we can delete you and that will recover us a whole load of parts that we need that we are six beavers short so we can probably do with some more accommodation do i start moving the housing back here 
I think our big problem was shortage of science, wasn't it? Yeah. Do I just throw in a temporary house here? Can I bump up the well-being cheaply? I don't think I can particularly easily because it all involves spending science. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, more campfires would help, but not much. No, not really. How are you flooded? Ah. Because you need to be a levy. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Uh, that's because that is set up really high. So let's drop that down. And let's replace that with a levy. And let's make that a super high priority build. Because that's causing us a bit of a challenge. Yeah. That's not so good. But we do now have spare beavers because none of them can go to work. Oh, I love it. I love this game. I really do. So I, you may have noticed I am running a mod, which is the good statistics mod. And that tells you how long it's going to take you, how long things will last or whether they're increasing or not. So you can see at the moment it's telling us it's going to take us nine days to fill our water supply, which is not awesome. Um, and that tells me probably we need more water pumping capacity so I'm going to pause it you guys and I think we are going to build another water pump um, and what we might have to do is switch to more seasonal working so let's make that a high priority so, uh, yeah, I think that's going to have to be how we do things. We might drop down to two builders as well. Um, I'm going to pause a bunch of those because we are going to need one more anyway. We're really still getting by on two farmers, three farmers. I guess we are. 400 food is not particularly great if we get a bad tide. Apart from the fact that we can keep farming, so maybe it's not a problem. But yeah, I'm not super comfortable with that, but I kind of think it's it's one of possibly one of those things where it is what it is. Um, we're having a bunch of deaths from old age, which sucks. So I'm. I don't think I'm going to push the population. I think we're going to just try and get through with a bit of managing the population at the moment. Um, so I'm actually going to pause you for a bit. You can go be... Actually, we've got haulers, so we don't need to. Because the beaver's grown up, so... Yeah. So if I'm going to, I need to try and get to the observatory. I don't need to. I would like to try and get to the observatory next. Um, oh, I need to do that. So we do need that to have water in. Okay. Good. Plant some more trees. Yeah. So we do need to make sure we keep water in there. Okay. Noted. Pay attention to that. Yeah, because it's not good for our trees all the way down here. Okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, so we now ha we have now pretty... Actually, we're pretty quickly going to fill that water supply up. So, I am... Because I am nervous from the... Uh, from my experience of playing on hard mode recently, 
we are going to prioritize building another water tank as well. We are eventually going to have to rip all of this out in the long term. But early on, I just want to focus on making sure that everything survives. So let's see if we can now push this up a little bit. Um, yep, there'll be a bit of flooding as it all resettles. That's okay. Yeah, we can have the water just a little bit higher. Guessing bad tide approaching in three days. So it would be nice if we could get this water tank built pretty quick because we've got bad tide coming. I'm not so worried about getting those built because we will have power. Do you need to remember to delete those? And that's partly why I put floodgates in, because for a bad tide, I want to be able to open this up and just have it go straight through until we are somewhat robust to the bad tide situation. So, yep, but we could do with making some gears kind of quick, please, beavers. Um, that would be good. Thank you. Do we have. So, I guess. We could probably do with more plank production where the water situation is. I am going to take two off of pumping and into plank production. I'd much rather have way too much pumping capacity and pause it than not have enough pumping capacity and have to uh, not have water on hard mode. So um, Having that kind of burst pumping capacity is something that's always been important as you get stuck in. So not sure we're going to get this built in time though with 1.6 days left of the drought because we've got to make a lot of gears. Oh well. We've got, I've only got 23, 24 beavers. So actually how many days? And so this, this better statistic or good statistics mod will tell me how long the water supply is going to last when we stop pumping. But I can do that maths while we wait. So we've got 24 times two and a half, 60, so 1400 divided by 60. Okay, so we've got 23 days supply of water. So maybe I don't need to be panicking at the moment. I don't think we're going to get a 23 day bad tide. Um, we should be able to keep farming food, which is good. So I do think that we want to be expanding our population in that case. So, um, oh, so much. I keep I keep wanting to build more stuff, and we need to finish building what we're building because these are quite important. So, oh, too many things to build. Too many things to build. So. But yeah, we're not going to get that built in time to fill it. So it kind of is what it is. Um, that might as well go down all the way now so that the flooding gets out of the way. Yeah, we definitely want that to be sorted before it's bad tide. Let's pause that. Let's delete both of those. So no beavers get attempted to go down there because that's going to switch very shortly. And uh, yeah, so they we could hold off pausing those for a bit, I think. Uh, so that probably doesn't need to be super high priority now and we can probably go back to building those yeah early game it still feels like early game on here with, with where we are so here comes the bad tide and we'll get a tiny bit more water pumping still and i think we might lose the front edge of the crops can't remember if we do we do you know not super bothered you lot can all be throw it down again Give myself time to think pause 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 you're all paused and we actually only end up with 
a couple of spare beavers as a result of that so we'll get a bit more science going and uh it day bad side that's fine we can get through that that'll be not a problem at all so a few more oak trees i'm not going to plant them all the way up to the cliff side because we want to make use of some of that cliff side but yeah awesome back to double speed and yeah i think wow well, yeah we've just lost some due to old age again so i do think that i mean there's an easy win there for a rooftop terrace we can just do that then we need to come up and around here, I think. So. And actually, what I should do. No, I can't do that. I was thinking there's an easy win there for a rooftop terrace, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's see if we can. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to make use of that. So I need. No. Nope, but we can do that. And that'll get us to a next level of housing. Which, until we move things over, we will do that. So, yep, that'll do for now. That will keep us rolling along, hopefully. And that'll be good. How are these random maple trees that I planted doing? Still got a long way to go. Oh well. I think we can go back up to triple speed now. And uh, yep. Are these going to die? No. But that could be an issue in the long term. So I think part of the reason that I unplanted all of this is we need to put irrigation barriers in in here. And then get some hydration in there. So we have, yeah, we are storing some pine resin. So I wonder if we should mark these to be cut for now and uh, do a cycle of cutting them, and then come back and uh, let them grow again because we don't need. I'm just stood there you know it's going to be a while before we need a lot of pine resin the observatory only needs 10 so i think we'll be okay i think we'll be okay with that that is waiting on gears that's waiting on gears that's waiting on metal blocks and gears and we do have some spare beavers so let's put one in there and that does probably mean that this stuff can get built as well because it doesn't need gears so that's good um just a general shortage of gears is a thing you know It looks like we're going to be okay. So if I mouse over this now, it tells us that we've got 38 days left of water. This does move around a fair bit, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It tells us, you know, we're using up carrots, we're gaining grilled potatoes. Yeah, it's, it's a cool little mod. It's a cool little mod. Uh, so it's the only mod that I'm going to be adding before you all start panicking. Um, and it doesn't matter if I have to take it out, it's not going to break the save if I delete it. So that was kind of my view. But it's just useful. And I, I saw it when I was browsing, when I was looking to see if the mods had been updated so that I could play the, uh, the mountain range save. I just thought it looked cool. So that's why I added it. And it's a fun little one if you like your numbers like I do. So, yeah. So we need another 
another 500 science. It's a lot of science. Let's get you going as well. Um, and we'll get another builder going as well because we did have four builders and we had to pause you. So uh, we do need to make sure we keep that topped up as well. I am. I, clearly, I did not give myself credit in that I put the crops in where they would grow, which is good. So I'm kind of surprised. I guess we're just processing the potatoes fast enough that it doesn't matter. So we could probably just pause him and he doesn't need to be sat there doing nothing. Um, so I'm contemplating while we've got this spare beaver. Because this might be a reoccurring theme of just chucking in yet another researcher. Particularly if we're going to expand the population a little bit. And it would be nice if we could keep doing research through the, uh, the temperate, wet season, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it would be nice because uh, science is holding us back just a little bit, along with gears. Gears are holding us back a bit too. Um, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to take, I did say right at the start, this save is going to run maybe a little bit slower. Um, certainly early on. Because playing on hard mode, I definitely found that playing on the diorama one. It was really easy to make mistakes and push yourself into a colony wipe situation. And, uh, my approach for recovery from that may make some of you unhappy. If we get there, you'll see it. But yeah, I can be a rather ruthless overlord. But you have to do what is best for survival of the colony, not survival of the individual. get some more water in there so we've got our new houses which means we can push the population up to 30 which is going to help that'll be good oh we've got our first gravity battery in it can't do anything but you can see it's going to hold 22,000 power which is so we're going to have an array that can hold 44,000 power which is not huge but what I'm hoping is it will at least get us through the periods where the wind's not blowing particularly hard so and then if we can throw in a few more windmills or whatever, we could maybe look to do a bit of expansion. So we'll see. We will see. So I think we're just waiting for gears on that now. So we've got our way up here. We're waiting for the science on the observatory. Um something that I am going to want to do for the longer term is get rid of all of these trees and clearly we don't just want to throw them away because again at this kind of stage the logs are pretty precious so we're going to just get a um We've got, we've got enough scrap math, we don't need to unpause you. Uh, I'm just going to put in a lumberjack up here and we'll uh, mark this these trees to be cut. And when there's a beaver free, they'll come up here and they'll cut down some trees. And uh, that'll be cool. And we could maybe make that a normal priority job and just come and get it done. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to do that. You don't need to be permanently staffed. So water wise we're fine you know it's a fairly short bad tide it's almost over and um, we're still struggling for gears but things are going to take time like that we're absolutely fine for water i love that uh food has stayed stable basically which again is fine i think what i'm going to do is build up a bit of a stockpile of potatoes and keep an eye on this and when this dips down we'll uh, get the grill going again 
grill a bunch of them, resupply. Seems sensible to me. Um, I think we'll do... Oh, bad tide is over, so we need to get ready to start pumping water. Uh, and we ended with nine, nearly a thousand water, so it's not too bad, is it? But... So we are short nine beavers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, you can be paused as well. We don't really need you working. We are short an beaver, uh, which we will pull from the building pool. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. We can raise these up a little bit now. I mean, it's going to be more when we get as drought coming, we're going to want to really raise this up as high as we can and just rather the water coming through here. But, yeah. We survived another bad tide, so that's kind of cool. That gravity battery's in. I'm going to make that our highest priority so we get that finished. We need to also actually put the power connection in. Oh, I didn't forget. Honest. That's a nice easy build for them. So we need to put the stairs back. Yes, this is a really janky solution, but it does a job. It does a job, so that's working, that's turning four more gears and that will be done. Then we can finish that. Um, kind of wondering if while we've got this space that we're just not using, do I just throw in a couple more campfires so we're at least getting our maximum campfire bonus. Oh, we've got a spare beaver. Let's get you doing some science, buddy. We need science. But we should quite quickly, yeah, we're going to quite quickly refill the water supply so we can then ease up on the pumping until we get this finished. So, um, which is cool. And yeah, we just breeze through another bad tide even without having a bad tide divert in i do want to get that done because obviously it's better um and in the long term and i'm kind of assuming we yeah we can deepen i think that this this river is at the shallowest so we can take out a little bit from this one we can make this a bit deeper so once we've got the bad water diverted and access to dynamite, we can make ourselves a little bit more resilient to some of those longer droughts in terms of this drying out, which will be good. But yeah, I just want to start stockpiling that science now so that we can actually get the observatory unlocked. one more gear and we'll have our in fact we've got the gear we just need them to bring it over so that'll get this set up which i think is going to be really useful particularly more so during droughts where we've not got the water wheels running um, and we're reliant on wind power so there we go we don't have smart power installed because can't rely on that mod not breaking when the game updates and things and they've been doing a few updates so they were, i don't know if, if you guys saw we had the waterfall particle effects and they've taken those away again i'm guessing they were affecting performance too much interesting i seem to be locked at 60 fps that's settings ultra that's very weird Is that a new thing very surprised by that anyway um so that, that's that job job we need 150 science to get to the observatory which we're gonna throw in up here i think so i would really like them to get these couple of trees cut down um and in 
preparation for that because the observatory I think I'm going to sit there so we need to build its power grid first um, so we're going to come across here the observatory needs 200 HP these can generate 150 so I think if we put in I put one there if I put that there am I going to be able to put the observatory where I want it yes so if we do that I run a path along there power I also want to put some gravity batteries. I could put one gravity battery there. I'd like to put another one there. So that's that. Might be all we can do actually. So we might not be able to get any more in there. No, so that's going to be us for powering our observatory. That should be plenty. Should be plenty. Um. I just kind of need them to come cut down these trees. And I guess it's never getting to be a priority. So we might end up getting them to destroy those trees. We'll see. Um, and we need another hundred and something science. Right, the water supply is full. So water supply was full. Let's get that filled up. We've now got another space for another couple hundred. So now good it gives us another few days um so i'm gonna run up i think to the next drought bad tide whatever it's going to be and uh that should let us maybe plop the observatory in as well um kind of thinking about i bet they can't get there if i tell them to delete those because they've got to wade through all of this stuff so if i did mark resources for demolition yeah uh, okay so we can't do that it's a drought um so what we're going to do instead is unmark every other tree you will go cut down those two birch trees You. You. You're a lumberjack. You can't quite reach it. Okay. That's why they're not cutting them down. Right. That's a different problem. Okay. So, where? Did I put one there? Wood. Yes. Okay. Alright. Oh, we've got three spare beavers that I hadn't noticed. Um, let's do that. But what I actually do, I'm going to make hauling a bit more of a priority. And, uh, we'll get three haulers going now. Um, let's do that. you yes thank you finally so it was kind of my fault that they weren't doing that because no one could actually reach them only kind of my fault though you know so it looks like our water supply is now full so we're going to have to three of those we'll get some more builders going it's going to rush not rush but rapidly improve our science generation and then I'm going to go gonna be it I think we'll do a two and a two yeah and back into power another set of those 
And then what we want to do is connect those up to that. And those up. Nope. Not like that. Turbo speed. That. It's not pretty, I know, but it'll do a job. We can unpause you, and we can unpause you. Oh, we're, we're awash with beavers. We need to reset our cutting zone for the trees now. So they've got something to do. So we've got two lumberjacks working. They seem to be keeping up, so not too worried about expanding that. That's keeping up. Let's grill some potatoes because we've eaten all of those. And I was going to keep an eye on that, wasn't I? Yeah, I know I was. Yeah. Um, so, again, we're going to be short of gears. So do I... I think if I'm going to expand our industrial capacity, I need to expand the power first. So if I want to do that, uh, one, one, two, if I did that, can I put a windmill on there? I can. And can I do the same again? Oh, cool, we've got a thousand sites. One, two. No, probably not. So let's do that. Let's not do that. Oh. Crank that up. I missed it. Darn it. Oh well. New feature and all that. New addition. Well, we have 12 day drought so we've got, we're absolutely fine for water um yeah i guess i would do one two so they would come up of that so we won't do that we won't do that if we did that then can i do I'm probably not going to be able to do that am i no okay So what we might need to do, our power batteries or gravity batteries is doing their thing. Power batteries. I know what I'm talking about, honest. Um, what we might need to do is break that and put a T piece in there. Like that. But I said I was going to play up to the next drought or bad side which we have achieved so thanks for watching folks i hope you have enjoyed this i am hopefully back i'm not sure probably three four ten but one videos a week hopefully we'll see how it goes um hope you enjoyed the video if you did click the like button comments questions suggestions remind me of all the things i said that i was going to do that i've forgotten um thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members for sticking with me while i took a bit of a break and uh I'll see you next time.